This shirt is so large. Hello, welcome back to Mayday in the Kitchen. I'm Mayday and today we are going to make a blueberry babka. Now a babka is traditionally a Jewish brioche dough. And today we are going to put a little twist on it and make it blueberry lemon flavored. Oh, it is so good. It goes beautifully in the morning with like some coffee or some nice just warm drink if you guys don't drink coffee, but it is delicious. So if you guys like this video, please be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well as hit that bell notification so that you can get reminded every other beautiful Wednesday morning when I post new videos like this one. Also, be sure to check out my Instagram. I am still doing my 60 day reel challenge. So if you check on my Instagram, I've got a bunch so far. Um, they range from kind of serious to funny to, I don't know, just a bunch. I was watching reels and I just saved a bunch of voiceovers or music or whatever and I'm just going through it and filming them and it's actually been really fun, so I highly suggest that you guys go check that out. All right, here are the ingredients to make your blueberry vodka. For your blueberry filling, you need eight ounces of fresh blueberries, half a cup of granulated sugar, and juice of half a lemon. For your dough, you need two and a fourth cups all-purpose flour, a fourth cup granulated sugar, one and a half teaspoons active dry yeast, the zest of one lemon, two large eggs, room temperature, a fourth cup whole milk, room temperature, one teaspoon vanilla extract, a fourth teaspoon almond extract, half teaspoon salt, and five tablespoons unsalted butter, room temperature, and sliced. For your simple syrup, you need two tablespoons granulated sugar and two tablespoons water. For your icing, you need half a cup of powdered sugar, and one tablespoon milk or water. All right, now that you guys have all the ingredients, let's get baking. So this babka is a two day process. Today I am going to be making the jam as well as the dough itself, but both of these will need to sit overnight. So we are gonna be making our jam first and what we will need is some blueberries, our sugar, and our lemon juice. Okay, so what we're gonna do with this jam is we're just gonna cook it down, get all those blueberries to break down. We're gonna cook it for about 30 minutes until it reduces by half, and then we are just gonna pour it into a jar and let it cool off in the fridge overnight. You wanna be sure that you're stirring it because you don't want the bottom to burn. All right, so while that's cooking, I am going to start making my dough. I am going to be wearing a glove because I actually cut my fingernail off at the Super Bowl. I was making something and if you guys saw my Instagram, you saw that I cut, well you didn't see the cut, but you saw that I had an accident. So <laughs> I don't want it to get infected. It actually is kind of infected. It's not good. But um, I'm gonna wear a glove just to keep it safer. <laughs> and yeah, that's why I have a glove on. All right, so I am going to whisk together my flour, my yeast, my sugar, and my lemon zest. The next thing I need to do is add my eggs, my extract, and my milk, and then I will be mixing it with my dough hooks, vanilla extract, almond extract, and my milk. When you're done mixing, it will be like dry and clumpy, but just wait. All right, now I'm going to add my salt. Now I'm gonna add my butter, but I'm only gonna add one tablespoon at a time, so that's about, I don't know, four cubes at a time, and mix it. Okay, I'm gonna add more butter and mix. arm hurts. More butter. What? Oh my gosh, my arm is like really cramping. <laughs> Why? So it said to keep mixing it with the dough hook for another 10 minutes until it is nice and smooth. But my dough hooks, as you noticed, 
are not the greatest. So I think I'm just going to mix it by hand until it is nice and smooth. Still cramping, but I think this is a better solution than using this because it just really wasn't working to be honest. Now, if you guys have a better mixer or even a stand mixer, you can use that. Obviously, I'm just, I just don't have the right equipment. So I must resort to my hands. Now, if it is too sticky, you can always add more flour, but I think that it's pretty good. All right, so we're done with the dough. We just need to put some oil into a new bowl and I'm gonna rub it around the sides and then I'm going to put my dough in there. I just need to put some plastic wrap over it and then I'm gonna keep it in the fridge overnight. So my blueberry jam has about five more minutes and we're just waiting for it to um, reduce by half and then we're just gonna put it in a jar. All right, so it is done and it is sticking, ooh, it's gonna be hot, to the back of my uh, spatula, which means it is thick and it is ready. I'm just going to dump it into my jar. Ooh, hot, okay, perfect. I'm gonna put my lid on and screw it on. And then I will put this in the fridge and let it cool overnight. As it cools, it'll thicken even more. And then tomorrow we will make our blueberry vodka. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye. Hello, welcome back to the next morning. So we have our dough and it has risen a little bit. It has not doubled in size, but it does look pretty good. And then we have our jam ready. So the first thing that we are going to do is preheat our oven to 350 and then we are actually going to roll out our dough. So we want to roll this to be 10 by 12 inches wide. I do want to try and make it into a square as best as possible. It's kind of hard for me at least to do that, but I'm going to try. That seems a little bigger than uh, 10 by 12, but it's fine. As long as you have it roughly that size, you're good to go. Now we are going to put some jelly or jam. It's jam. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna put some jam on this. And while you're putting this uh, jelly on, you wanna keep at least like half an inch along the edges, um, just to be safe, because when you roll it up, it will kind of like spew out a little bit. So my jelly is done. So now we're gonna roll it up. Roll, 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 roll. Ooh, beautiful. Okay, and I'm gonna turn it that way. I'm gonna put my gloves back on. I did a reel, so I, had, I took my gloves off. But I will put them back on because of my band-aids. Now, we are going to take my knife and we are going to cut down the middle. <gasps> Look at that, oh my gosh, looks so good. So good. We're gonna make an X, like so, and then we're just gonna twist it up. Twist it up. Like so. Ah! I need to oil my pan. Oh, that was a lot of oil. Spread that oil all over. Now what I wanna do is get some parchment paper. And my parchment paper is just an extra layer of protection, but it's also gonna help me lift my blueberry vodka out of the pan a lot easier. So now we're just gonna take it and drop it on in there. 
So I don't really have a tea towel. A lot of my towels are thick. So I think I'm just going to get the paper towels, double layer it, get it damp, and then we just place it over. <sighs> okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, I placed it over and I'm gonna let it sit and rest and rise a little bit more for an hour and a half and then I'll be back to put it in the oven. So I will see you then. All right, so it has been an hour and a half and my dough has proofed one more time and now it is time to throw it in the oven. It is set at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We are gonna throw it in for about 30 to 35 minutes until it is golden brown and nicely cooked and all. So I will be right back again. All right, here is my blueberry babka. So right as it came out of the oven, I did put some simple syrup on it. It's just two tablespoons of water, two tablespoons of sugar, and I put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and just mixed it up. Sugar dissolved and I just put it on top. I use the entire thing. Do not skimp out on how much you use. Use the entire thing. And now, that it has cooled off for about 45 minutes to an hour, we are going to put the icing on top. So I have my powdered sugar and I'm just gonna add some milk and we are just going to mix it up. Just gonna drizzle it all along the top. <laughs> That's a lot of icing, oh man. But it looks so good. Yes. Okay. I will be right back. All right. Woo. Okay. We are now going to try it. Take this slice. Oh, it looks so good. Mm-mm-mm. So the dough itself is a little, I don't want to say dry, but I mean, definitely from proofing, there's more air in it. I mean, okay, it's not really dry, but I mean, it is a bread. So you're going to get that bread texture, but it's sweet and having the layers of blueberry jam in between it is very good. It adds, you know, another level of moisture in it. So it's not dry. It's just obviously bread textured. And then we put the simple syrup on it. We put the icing on it. So there's a lot of sweetness like on top, not so much in the middle. You just get the sweetness from the blueberry jam, but it is still so good. With a cup of coffee, have a little treat on the side. Mm. This is delicious. My mouth is so full. <laughs> oh, that bite was good. It had good icing, good simple syrup on it. Mm. All right, that is it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed making this blueberry vodka. I hope that you guys try it out in your homes. It is so delicious. Like I said, great breakfast treat. Eat it with your coffee. So good. So be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that you can get reminded every other beautiful Wednesday morning when I upload new videos like this one. I will see you guys in two weeks. Bye.